we see what we become and the world becomes who we are. In order for you to achieve those goals, what do you have to believe? Rise and shine. It's espresso time. Hey, it's Evan Carmichael and I am not a morning person. I'm not. But when you start your day with a routine that inspires you, like watch one of these videos, it will change your life. So let's start your day off right together. Grab your coffee, know that I believe in you, and get ready for a shot of espresso with Deepak Chopra from our vault. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. I wake up every morning. Today's message is... Believe shape reality. Over to you, Deepak Chopra. What we see, what we perceive, what we hear, what we think, what we imagine, what we understand, what inspires us, all of that comes from belief. And then these beliefs project as our world. We actually create the world that comes from these inner beliefs. In turn, the world feedbacks on us. The world feeds back on us, and it reinforces what we already believe in. So we see what we become, and the world becomes who we are. Now I've got a special bonus clip that I think you're gonna enjoy, but before that, it's time for the question of the day. I wanna know what was your single biggest takeaway from this video and your plan of action for the next week? When you watch a video and you get motivated, the science says you have a 35% chance of following through. That's not enough. <laughs> But when you write down what time, what place, and how you're going to actually take action on it, you jump to 91% chance of following through. And when you have public accountability and you commit to other people that you're gonna do it, it jumps to 95% that you will follow through. So I want that for you, Believe Nation. I wanna know your single biggest takeaway from this video and your plan of action for the next week. Put it down in the comments below so I can celebrate you. When I was 19 years old, okay, when I had a mentor, a man who was in his 50s, very, very successful, he agreed to, to mentor me and to teach me what he knew. And so he sent me home with some paper. And on the paper it said, what do you want to achieve in your health? What do you want to achieve in your relationships? What do you want to achieve financially? What do you want to achieve charity? What do you want to achieve as far as experiences? When do you want to retire by? How much money do you want to make? Wow. How he asked me about 10 pages of questions. And at 19, I, I had no idea. Like, how much do I <laughs> want to make? <laughs> I want to make enough to pay my bills. I want to make enough to you know, just eat well and then have some fun. I want to go drinking with my friends. I want to go party and travel a little bit and pay for my apartment and a nice car and, and things like that. But he had me think, you know, one year, five years, 25 years. Wow. And I was 19 and he made me write down the answers to these questions, even though they were, I had no idea how to achieve them. He made me write it down. It took me a whole weekend. And I went back and he looked at my papers. And so he looked at health and wealth and relationships and career and business. And he goes, good, way to do the exercise. I'm very proud of you. He says, now I want you to increase that amount. And <laughs> so I said that, you know, by the time I was 45, I was 19. I said, by the time I was 45, I was going to be a millionaire. Nobody in my family was a millionaire. Not my aunts, not my uncles, not my cousins, nobody in the area that we lived in. And I wrote that down. And he says, no, that's not enough. He says, you could do better than that. And I'm like, mm. I'm swallowing, I'm scared, I'm afraid. I, how am I going to become more than that? How can I have all of this? He says, don't worry about the how right now. You worry only, and not even worry, but you write down what you want. And so I went back home and started to write again. <laughs> again. And, and took another, you know, half a day to, to redo my goals. 
And he said to me, great, now in order for you to achieve those goals, what do you have to believe? Wow. I said, well, I have to believe that I can. I have to believe that I deserve it. And even though I didn't believe that I deserved it, he said, what would you think you had to believe? I have to believe that it could be done. I have to believe that I could learn the skills. I would have to believe. So he made me write out what I would have to believe. Good question. And then he said, great, what do you think you would have to do every day? Wow, I go, amazing question. Um, well, I guess I would have to come to work every day and I'd have to really get good at what I'm doing and I'd have to learn more than I'm learning right now because I hated to learn back then. And I'd have to you know, gain more skills, which I didn't have any. The only thing I was good at was I had an easy time talking to people like I am with you now. And he said, great, well, let's make a list of all of these things and let's come up with a plan to do this. He said, so every day, let's look at some beliefs. And so every day he would have me look at my goals and I would sit in my chair and I'd have my goals, you know, that he had me write. And I would take my fingers, which he told me to touch my goals so that I would send a message to my brain as I was reading it and seeing it to reinforce the goals that I wrote. Then I would read the beliefs that I needed to have. I have all the intelligence I need to achieve these goals. I can now acquire all the skills to achieve these goals. And I read about 20 or 30 different beliefs every day. And for the first month or two months, while I was reading all of this, in my head, this one word kept coming up. You know what the word was? Because as I would read it, my brain would say, that's not true. <laughs> and he told me that my brain would try to talk to me and tell me it's not true. And he said, if you keep doing it over and over and over again, your brain's going to get tired of telling you it's not true. <laughs> and especially if after you do this, you take some actions to upgrade your knowledge, upgrade your skills, you'll develop more confidence and more certainty. So he taught me how to use the telephone to make telephone calls to people to see if they were interested in buying a real estate property or selling their home. I was in real estate at 19. And you know, for the first month it was hard, second month it was hard, the third month it was hard, but as I got better and more comfortable, at being on the telephone, talking to people that I didn't know, that I thought didn't want to hear, hear from me or talk to me. I found one person, then two people, then three people, then five people who said yes. Because as I became more comfortable, as I became more skilled, as I gained more knowledge, people received me differently. And in my first year, I made $30,000. I was 19 which was $5,000 more than my father made <laughs> as a taxi driver. Wow. Then he started to upgrade my skills a little bit more. And he started to teach me some very specific things to do in real estate. And in my second year at 20, I made $151,000. Wow. Five times more income because every day for one hour, one hour a day, I practiced my beliefs. I practiced seeing my vision. I rehearsed it. I got on the phone. Yeah. I upgraded my knowledge. I upgraded my skills. I love your story. Thank you. And, and so he kept, he kept directing me a little bit at a time to become more tomorrow than I am today. And he said to me something that changed my life. He says, if you invest one hour a day, on your personal growth and changing who you believe you are, that is the equivalent of nine 40-hour weeks of effort. One hour a day for a year is nine 40-hour weeks. If you and I said today, we're going to learn break dancing, or we're going to learn knitting, and we're going to spend nine weeks, 40 hours a week, 
We would get good at what, painting. We would get good at, at knitting. We would get good at darts. We would get good at playing a musical instrument if we were committed to one hour a day. So I've practiced one hour a day for 32 years. Wow. And that one hour a day it's changed my life. If you want more Deepak Chopra, check out the one-on-one -on -one interview I did recently on my main channel. The link is right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. Every thought you have is a magical lie. How do we live a life with zero physical or mental weakness?